The marshmallow test might just be the most ultimate personality test because, after all, what would you do if you had a sweet, crusty, barbecued marshmallow right in front of you? How long would you look at it? How long would you be content just to look at it without eating it? What this test tells is how disciplined you are, right? So if you're able to show restraint and to not eat the marshmallow, that suggests that you have the ability to discipline your mind and to tell yourself not to do something. So if you've decided not to do something and you're able to follow through on that, that's a good sign that you are strong in what we call judging in the mice breaks or conscientiousness in the big five. And often, this is a good metric of success in the sense that typically these kinds of people tend to be very goal-oriented, project-motivated, and tend to show a lot of industriousness. They tend to value professional career and pursuits more than perceiving types, right? So when we think about it, what is it that gives some people the ability to resist eating the marshmallow while others don't? Well, the first question is, why should you? Why should you resist? Why not just eat the marshmallow? What's so wrong with it? What's the harm in having this really nice and tasty treat, right? Receiving types are oriented to focus on more short-term forms of results and gains. So that's why we can say that judging types are goal-oriented while perceiving types are task-oriented. Here, perceiving types will look at what's available to them and what is the most easy to deal with right now. Judging types, on the other hand, tend to look at what's ahead of them and how to stay on course to get the long-term result that you most desire. And often what we've found when it comes to focus, the secret behind judging types and their resilience when it comes to these kinds of activities is the longer they abstain from something, the longer they drag something out, the longer they wait with something, the greater the sense of enjoyment that they achieve, right? So often, if you take a plan, you take it, say it's gonna take one week to complete, the sense of success and achievement and pride that you take from that week is quite good, right? It's like, yeah, I'm happy to have this done, right? But the sense of enjoyment of completing a one month project or a six month project, that's way, way higher, right? And what we see here is when a judging type focuses on a task, they can focus on the task for a longer amount of time without getting bored, right? Which means that often judging types work better in longer time intervals, while perceiving types work better in shorter time intervals. For example, if you're doing Pomodoro, what you might want to do is, well, Pomodoro, first of all, is to set a 20 minute timer and to focus on that task until those 20 minutes are up. And then once those 20 minutes are up, take a five minute break, get up, stand up, stretch, or do something completely different for a little bit. And then five or 10 minutes later, get back to work, set the 20 timer again, and get started on that task, right? So what we can see here is, well, perhaps for example, for a perceiving type, 20 minutes is perfect. But perhaps for a judging type, 30 minutes or 40 minutes or even 60 minutes can work, right? Depending on your level of focus and discipline. And of course, this is a spectrum, which means that some judging types can last maybe 30 minutes while others can go 40 minutes and others can go even longer. What you really want to check for is when does my attention start to fade? And this is what a lot of people get wrong, right? So they will focus on a task. They'll try to sit down and they'll try to look at it and they'll try to work at it, right? But what ends up happening is human attention lags. So at some point you start to daydream, your mind starts to wander, your effectiveness, your concentration starts to diminish. While you're still looking at the task and while you might still think that you're focused, your actual level of productivity is starting to dissipate. You're starting to do less and less and you're starting to focus less uh, in a sense. And so what you want to check out is when I'm Am I starting to tune out? How long can I focus on a task? And at what point do I lose track?